welcome back. We're going to be looking at all these DLC events here in this part, and we're also going to be looking at the theory that maybe, just maybe, Rebirth 3 follows into Rebirth 1, all because of mages. So that's what we're going to be looking at, the possibility of that. So let's start with Histoire. Histoire has been added. That was the best scene I have ever seen in this game. Information, cave. I feel like I'm gonna run into a familiar face today. Uh, yep. And just as I say it, it comes true. Where am I? Oh, nice, it's cave. You are Neptune, correct? Dingle doo, you got it. Everyone's favorite, everything Neptune. Then this is Planetune. I was just in Ningbox. Uh, so let me explain. Fade out, fade in. I see. So this is a different dimension, and that is a spoiler. Because they haven't actually said that in the story yet. They keep doing this in this game. They keep putting the DLC a bit too early, like one scene too early. So it spoils everything. Ah, well, we know it now. Different dimension. There we go. Most of us knew this anyway, but, you know. Our meeting is fortuitous. While it may not be much, allow me to lend you my strength. Let us find our way back home together. Cave has been added. Right, so we had the flash at the beginning. She came from her own dimension. Why, why information disappear? What? Oh, it's that thing where I've got to go out and go back in to make them reappear. That's so annoying. Anyway, welcome! The time has come again for me to browse Enchan for all the new memes. What's the hottest thread here? Oh, this says a boat girl. Girl, yeah. Boat got caught in a freak storm. Oh no. And a passenger went overboard and is missing. Yeesh, I hope they can swim. Blar! What is that light? It's all up in my eyes, you guys! Alright, there's the light again. There she is, covered in water. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna drown. I'm dying. Air. I need air. Someone help. Uh, uh, where is this? Am I saved? The light gave birth to a girl, and she's all wet from the uh, light birthing or whatever. Um, huh? Behold the face of someone who has no idea what's going on. I was caught in a storm, got tossed into the sea, and then I really thought I was drowning. Do you know what happened? Hmm, I will answer you because my soul is approximately 50% kindness. Approximately? So basically, a light appeared and you fell into it. Or out of it, even. A light? I suppose I did see a strange luminescence in the ocean. I heard laughter too. Probably Nep. I mean, who else could it be? Wink. Laughter? Under the sea? Yes, in the middle of the ocean. Thought I heard someone laughing like cuckoo coo or something. Bit of an odd laugh. I, d I doubt we know anybody who laughs like that at all. Hmm. That chinibu. Chinibu. Laugh could only belong to Chunny. We'll say Chunny. But that means Neptune knows who Mages is at this point. But she shouldn't, should she? Because Mages wasn't in Rebirth 2. Hmm. But yeah, I'll say Chunny in future. It's the B at the end that gets me. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Falcom, an adventurer. Falcom? Um, that... Now that I look at... That cute mug of yours, I guess you do resemble her. Hmm? Hey folks, Falcom is an adventurer who fought against Asik with us in the previous game. This chickadee is smaller than the Falcom I know. And why haven't you got Neptune in your box? So I was reading it as a narrator. This is Neptune saying it. Alright. So she must belong to this dimension. I'm Neptune. Methinks it was fate that brought us together. So it's good to meet you. Likewise. You said you got caught in a storm on a boat or something, right? Where were you headed? I'm glad you asked. There's a newly discovered island in the South Seas, apparently. 
a wild and unexplored land that is perfect for an adventurer like me to explore. Nice, exploring the Badlands, eh? So, are you a tough, stale cookie? Yes, I'm still new to adventuring, but I've stayed countless baddies, slayed countless baddies with my trusty sword. No! Gone. Everything's gone except for my sword. Did all my other luggage sink to the bottom of the ocean? What should I do now? My supplies and my money. Oh no. Yowch. I wanted fuels for you. But wait. Why not come squat at my place for a while? I mean, it's not your place. It's Plutia's place, but alright. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah. Gotta help the helpless. Or something. Thank you so much, Neptune. Falcom has been added. Hmm. So how does Nep know about mages existing? If we did mages first, that would make sense. So maybe the DLC is, has some sort of order where mages was meant to be first. We'll do mages now and see if it makes sense that way. Right, let's go. Let's go with that idea. It's not enough. I get the very distinct feeling that there aren't enough chunny folks in my party. The series sells on the fact that we've got charming device girls to battle baddies with. So there's an overwhelming lack of delusional chunny characters, excluding Iffy. Hmm. To give our players what they need, where could I find a silly and delusional girl around here? Ideally, they'd also be mysterious and intelligent. In other words, a magician type character. But such a convenient person couldn't possibly make an appearance in the next line. Coo coo ha ha ha! Great giggles of despair, what was that? Hmm, where is this? Right, so if Nep doesn't know who this is, this is the first time she's meeting mages. So the previous scene would have been after this one. And now someone appeared? Hello, it's me. A mysterious light enveloped me, and now I am standing in an unfamiliar land. It may be the organization's great conspiracy at play. Investigate it quickly, but with great caution. Uh, hey? I wish you luck. Lux Tineve Magnatamina Sisum. Trying to remember how she says it. Hugh. Hmm, who are you? No, don't tell me. I feel this is not our first time meeting. Let's stop in names, okay? My name, I see. I should call myself Mages. Mages, huh? No. Mages in all caps with a full stop. No. Mages. I see, I see. Mages, huh? I am telling you that it is Mages. You forsook the period, or full stop as we call it, in civilized countries. It is part of my name. So do not forget to say it. I don't see how it affects the pronunciation, but whatever. Mages it is, then. And you. You are Neptune, yes? Uh-huh. The protagonist of all main characters. The heroine of all things Neptune. You must understand the situation. I ask that you explain it to me. Fade out. Fade in. I see. I felt our paths had crossed before, but to think you're the CPU from my world. All is intentional. Hmm, but Mages wasn't in Rebirth 2, so how does this all fit together? Unless there's unseen stuff that we don't know about. How does this connect? Still, to think I would transcend dimensions due to my magical science accident for dimensional sliding. Blech. Dimensional what? Hopping science? Do you eat it? How's it taste? To keep the explanation simple, I was experimenting with spells that allow one to travel dimensions. Dimensional travel research? Magicians can do that stuff? I am no mere magician. Chosen by fate, I have vast knowledge of not just magic, but science as well. I fuse the two disciplines into one, and then I, the mad magician, can make all things possible. Cuckoo foo ha ha! That's the laugh. It belongs to the mad magician, of course. Coo -coo -coo -hoo -ha -ha. So if we use your fancy pants space travel science magic, can I get back to my dimension? No, that is impossible. I'm in the midst of my research into dimensional transcendence, so the spell is yet incomplete. 
As I said before, due to an accident during my experimentations, I was sent here by sheer happenstance. Were I to reproduce the situation, there is no guarantee we would go back to our original dimension. Got it. I thought we could, but... Eh. Hmm. Never fear. Majors, the Mad Magician will finish researching dimensional slides and return you to the, your world safely. Cuckoo hoo hoo ha ha. Majors has been added. So far, it still does all fit. With the idea that this does lead into Rebirth 1, as we've discussed in Rebirth 1. It does seem to follow. That still all works. By PB. Um, where am I? Oh, this soothing siren song could only come from... Yes, it's 5PB! Oh, Neptune, what a relief. Finally, someone I recognize. I never thought it possible, but even 5PB made it over here. So, what happened? What do you mean? Fade out, fade in. I think I'm in another dimension. Oh, what should I do? Don't even trip, girl. It's not like you're alone here. Or is something else weighing on your head? Uh, actually, everyone seems to forget that I'm really shy. Oh, right. I knew just about everyone from our dimension, so I was getting better there, but what'll I do now? My brain arrays the knowledge of you being shy around strangers. But, uh, you're super peppy once you get up on stage. Yeah. Then just hang out on stages in all the cities over here. Make friends by being all energetic and whatnot. But I don't think they'll have stages set up for me everywhere we go. Hmm, we can handle the problem one step at a time. So for now, welcome back to the club, 5PB. 5PB has been at it. No progress there on the theory, but yeah, we got 5PB, that's something at least. CyberConnect 2. Yeesh. I work so hard that I can't even work hard at being lazy to get all the hard work out of my body. What? Maybe it's just me, but the fights are getting tougher. Are they? We haven't done any here. My bod might not hold up much longer. I know that voice. Is that you, Neptune? Why, if it isn't my bestest bunny, Cybercon. Oh, sorry, Cyberconnect 2. Gotta establish the formal name first. I knew it. I'm so glad that I finally ran into someone I know. Behold CyberConnect 2, aka Cybercon, or CC2. Using an easy meta explanation, she helped us in the last game. But what are you doing over in this dimension, Cybercon? This dimension? Fade out, fade in. I see. No wonder the landmarks here seem so unfamiliar. I'd no idea this was a completely different planet tune. So what brought you here? Hmm. No clue. I was setting out to buy my weekly magazine and got sucked into a mysterious light. Yep, that light's up to its old tricks again. Anything else you can remember? Oh, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure someone was laughing. It was like cuckoo -cu -cu or some other kind of evil skimming laugh. Hmm. I wonder if it's her. Well, of course it is. What? Wait. Yeah, what's going on? I was heading out to buy my weekly magazine, remember? How can I do that in a different dimension? Oh man, all the manga were at such good parts too. Uh, well, gee, um, fuck up? Yeah, it can't be helped since I've been sent to a different dimension, huh? I'll just have to find interesting manga to read in this one. He's over it already? And by using the power of positive thinking. Nothing happens if you let yourself get depressed. It sucks I can't read my faves, but if things are different here, there's a lot for me to pick up, to pick from, pick from, yep. Yeah. I'm way more excited than let down. That's how it is, so please show me to the nearest bookstore, Neptune. Wait up! CyberConnect 2 has been added. Boop. 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 Red. Oh, here we go, red. Having sensed the presence of her soon-to-be wifey's red appears. Blah, that was a shocker. Well, well, if it isn't my wifey, what a coincidence to find you here. Could this be... fate? Nope, not even I understand you. I mean, how are you even in this dimension, Red? Dimension? Fade out, 
Aiden. We haven't actually had the Dimension stuff properly explained to us yet, and they're doing fade outs and fade ins. Very odd. Oh, this is a different dimension? Looks pretty much the same to me. How do you get here? Did you get sucked into a big dog void like me? Huh? I jumped off a tire swing into a dirty lake. What? How did this come about? Did you try to end it all because you couldn't choose just one wifey? Not at all, Neptune. Me and my wifeys know we're all another, one another's wifeys. Yeah, no need to choose just one. In fact, I wanted even more wifeys. So that's why I jumped into the lake. I wanted to see a whole new world. No, 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 no. None of that explains why you jumped into a lake the way you did. Why? Well, I was always taught that dragon gods sleep in lakes and they take you to other worlds. Oh, really? Even if you were taught that, it's amazing that you can hop in without hesitation. Don't worry about it, wifey. As a result of my bravery, I made it to this place. Yeah, kind of a coincidence, really, isn't it? Okay, then. I'm gonna go out and find tons of wifeys here, too. Ah, wait up, Red. So was Red not brought here by Major's experiments? Hmm. Red has been added. Very well. Back out, back in. Tekken! Oh, it's Neptune! Golly, I know that voice. It must be Harada. Yes, it's me. Uh, no, I, I'm not Harada. I'm Tekken. Tekken, Tekken, huh? You're that cool actor who throat chops everyone on your quest to rescue your family. No, that's not me at all. I'm going to be mad at you soon. Sorry, I had to make a bad joke. It's in my contract. It's kind of like a rule, you know? Anyway, I haven't seen you since the last game, Tekken. I know! What brings you to this dimension? Well, when I was training up in the mountains with my bear friend, I got hit by a light and ended up here. Hit by a light? Was it mysterious? A big mystery? Like the mystery grass from the famous anime? Well, yes, it was rather mysterious. I even heard mysterious laughter at the same time. It was something like cuckoo hoo ha <laughs> ha Where have I heard that before? Steins Gate, probably. Probably Steins Gate. Okay, cool story. I've got another question for you. Ask away. Wanna help me beat stuff up again? I'd love to. Let's go on another fun training journey together. Tekken has been added. Right, back out, back in. Mobby! Hmm, it might be my imagination, but my brain feels like there's something missing from this game. Hmm, what could it be? Triple dot. Oh, right. It's about the human characters. As in, the ones who were in the original version of this game and became series staples are missing. For them to not be in this game, it feels wrong to even call this a proper Neptunia title. Yeah, just remember that when we get to the next game. Hmm. In that case, I shall summon up a reliable ally to aid in my heroic struggle in this wicked world. Since I am the main character, of course I know how to summon a character or two. Ah, uh, I summon... Marby has arrived. Boom. Bouncing balloons are popping. Here comes the musky ninja girl with, whose clothes never ripped somehow. Well, just wait. I say that, but your bus should be admired. You may even have the edge of a vert. Oh, are you Neptune by chance? Yes, indeedy. I am Neptune, the leader of Leeds. Hooray, I finally found you. Uh, you got business with me or something? Yep. My ninja name is Marvelous AQL, and Histoire requested my presence from the Ninja Academy I attended. It's been super dangerous lately, so she wanted me to help you girls out from the shadows. Yeah, we've had scenes of violence after violence lately, huh? Not really. I mean, we've had you falling from the sky. That's pretty much it. So that's the situation. It's nice to meet you, Neptune. Nice to meet you too. Loads of musical notes, all right. I assume it was like a, nice to meet you too. Something like that. Anyway, sorry for bringing this up all of a sudden, but can I ask you for, for a bold favor of a favor? Flavor of a flavor? Jeez, Neptune's stuff is really hard to read sometimes. 
A favor, huh? What is it? Marvelous AQL is way too many syllables for my tongue. So can I just call you Marvy? Wow, you're giving me a pet name even though we just met. I figured you might, but still. Yes, Marvy is fine. Can I call you Neppy then? That's cool with me. Neppy is already an accepted nickname of mine. Let's kick book together, Marvy. Uh-huh. We sure will, Neppy. Marvelous AQL has been added. Right, who else we got then? Back in. Broccoli new. Where am I now, new? Oh, hey there, Pachinko. Haven't seen you since the last game. I'm not Pachinko, I'm Broccoli. How many times do I have to say this to you, new? Ah, Pachinko is Pachinko. Egg. Never mind, new. Trying to explain anything to Neptune is a waste of time. By the way, Neptune, where am I? I don't recognize this town, new. Ahoy, for this be Planet Hune. Planet... Uh, I bit my tongue, no? I was going to game with uh, some gaming goodies, but I ended up in some weird town. Why, no? So about that. blah de bah yada yada desu Such and such, and this and that, you. Now I see. You're being nothing but an annoyance again, you. I no thang. That was an insult, you. Anyway, Pachuco. No. Not Pachico, Broccoli New. Dude, seriously, it's okay. To me, Pachico is Pachico. You are terrible at listening, New. Oh well, it's kind of my thing to tune out other people's drums and keep marching to my own. You're the same as ever, New. Bye, no thing again. That was an insult again, New. I've got a request for you. Join your party, New. Oh, what's expected of Pachico? Sharp in both tongue and wit. You're... You telepath. Yep, you telepath. Kindred spirit. You're too annoying. So no, new. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, kid. You're an unreliable one. So I need to look after you in this game too, new. Yay, I always win. Broccoli has been added, new. Right, so is that it? Are we done? Are we done? 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 We're done! Right, to the guild and let's see if we can get some work done. Man, what's up with this? I try to play and then I'm told to go work. This is like deja vu. Last time it was Histy up in my girl, but now it's noir. How long are you going to keep mumbling to yourself? Look, we're here! Huh? That was fast. Wait, this is where you accept those quest things, isn't it? Wow, Neppy, you know about that? Naturally. Before I came here, I was doing a whole bunch. I'm the CPU of Planetune, after all. Aw, oh, you're such a dependable girl. You're sticking to that story. It's kind of painful to hear, so stop while you're ahead. No, you stop. It's not all in my head. I'm Planetune CPU. It's sad that you have to make Neppy sound like a liar. Okay, listen, you're Planetune CPU, right? Uh-huh, that's me. Which means she can't be. You founded this nation, so you're naturally its sole CPU, Plutia. I um, don't really get the whole explanation, but I'm totally telling the truth. I didn't want to go this far because it makes me out to be a nasty person, but prove it. If you're going to insist that you're telling the truth, then transform. Transform, eh? Yeah, activate HDD. If you're a CPU, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Oh, that thing, yeah! You'd believe me for sure if I do that. Oh, Noir, you should have chirped that song sooner. It completely slipped my mind. Stop delaying and do it. Okay, okay, don't rush me. Watch closely. Hiya! Triple dot. Triple dot. Huh? What, what, what? You don't want to transform? Just as I expected. No, no, no way. This isn't what's supposed to happen. Well, I'm kind of klutzy, so my cool transformation pose must have been wrong. One more time. Ha, yeah. Epic, equip, shine, fusion! Well, what the heck? 
Yeah, all right, we get it. Just admit you lied and apologize. No need to keep being stubborn. Not lying. Why are you so mean? Why don't you transform then? I can't. I'm not a CPU. See? See, you can't either. So don't act all snooty pooty. Or patooty. I never once said that I'm a CPU. Okay, then how about you, Pludia? Can you do the thing with the changing? No. No, no, no. Shut up, you idiot. Oh, sure. I can transform. Really? You haven't shown me yet. Boo, don't be a meanie. Fine, I'll transform now. Crap, no, no. Let's let's not do that, okay? Oh, why not? Yeah, why are you stopping her? Getting all panicky like that sets off my suspicion alarms. Don't say such reckless things. Uh, why are you so frantic? Never talk Plutia into activating HDD. Do you understand? Uh, okay. My bad, I think. Um, I don't really get it, but now I don't. Now I don't have to transform? Nope, no need to do that. We better start working. Quickly. Right, so what we get here? Activate. Activate quest? Accept quest. Urgent verification. Right, we need to go kill some more doggers. Let's go do that then. Doo doo. Oh, there's another event. Very well. Information. Oh, Neptune. Hey, Neppy. Huh? What's up, Ludie? There's a hole in your clothes, and they're all dirty too. A hole, you say? Well, holy moly, you're right. I fell from really high, so one or two holes should be expected. I'm not gonna let it bother me. But it really bothers me. I'll patch it up for you, so go ahead and take your clothes off. Huh? You can repair cloth, Bluey? Could it be your secret skill? Uh-huh, I really love sewing. It's so much fun to stab things with needles. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I see. You're some kind of gal, Plutie. Hmm, I want you to fix this, but I don't have anything else to wear. I can't stand around nude, you know? Hmm, I guess not. Okay, so what kind of clothes do you usually wear, Neppy? Usually, you, uh, it's pretty tough to describe with normal words, but like this, this, and these, or those. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I know. Wait just a minute. Ta-da! It's all done. Wow, there we go then. Wow, they're just like my normal clothes. Sized perfectly. Plutie, this is the work of an artisan. Hehe, <laughs> more praise, please. I never would have expected the carefree and slow-talking Plutie to have such a unique ability. Does that mean you also needled up all the plushies I see lying around this den, my good pal? Yep, I make one of every friend I have. I see, so you're gonna make one of me too? Of course I am. <laughs> I can't wait to stub my needles into a neppy plushie. Um, hmm, what's this strange feeling? I'm happy to hear that, but for some reason, my tingling spine isn't. Indeed. All right, so who we got here? Bludia. Hey, 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 Clooney, you've got to limit how far out into space your mind goes. Huh? What's wrong? Your slippers, girl. You shouldn't wear those things outside of your house. Why not? They'll get all dirty and grimy. You gotta put on some pumped up kicks when you are when you head outside. But you wear sneakers so your feet don't get dirty, right? That's what slippers do too. Oh, well, I mean, that's true, but you wear those inside the basilicum as well, don't you? In that case, you'll get the floor all muddy and whatnot. But, um, you're supposed to wear slippers inside the house, right? Well, yeah, if you look at the two concepts independently, sure, but you're not linking the two. It's useless, you know. She'll never change her sloppy ways. I'm not as sloppy. I'm very efficient. Even though I just met you, I know there's a pants ignite. What? That's a pants igniting lie. Very well. Liar, liar, pants on fire, indeed. Hee hee hee, I'm busted. She also wears her normal clothes as pyjamas, never combs her hair, and she naps whenever possible. Well, the last one makes sense. 
the legend of sloppy Plutia is Plutia even is unfolding one item after another uh, but but I take a bath every day true if left alone you'd soak in the tub for hours until you turn into a Plutia prune yeah because naps and maths are the ultimate relaxation combo if you're not careful that could be dangerous yes yeah, she end up falling asleep in the bath and drowning I wonder if she can cut it as a CPU. Maybe I'll act cold and push her far away from me for once. Oh, Noir, don't abandon me. I see, so this Dimensions Noir has a tough time taking care of others too. Could it be? No, there's no way I've caused my Noir any trouble back home. Well, it's entirely possible. No, Ludia. I'm so sleepy. Gonna take a nap. It's okay, right? Good night. And and she's gone. Right, seeing as Pluto has gone to sleep, we'll actually end this part. And in the next part, we'll go off to a Tory forest. Actually, if there's no event caused by this quest, this one here, quest active, that's one. I'll do that in between the parts, and we'll start with the scene in the next part. So we'll see what happens at the start of the next part. Bye bye for now.